Hey y'all, today we got Aunt Lou back in the kitchen and we're going to show you how we make our slow cooker Swiss steak. All while having a whole lot of fun. Would I steer you wrong? Is that a beef joke? Would you steer me wrong? Sure. Uh -huh. another edition of Cooking Chris's Dishes with the good old boy. And Aunt Lou. And today we're going to show you a really easy recipe it's called easy. Slow... It's easy! It's it got so me. easy! It's so easy it got me an Australian accent. <laughs> well, there, we've got a couple Australians that watch this are like, that's not an Australian accent. <laughs> that sounds nothing like us. <laughs> slow cooker, Swiss... Swiss? Wow, you wow. are just having a great time I talking know. today. I know. I'm a mathematician at heart. I'm definitely not an English major. We are making slow cooker Swiss steak in a slow cooker. Real easy recipe and it goes a little something like this. You need around a pound of round steak. Okay, now. Now. How now, brown cow? Um, I don't know if it was brown or not. <laughs> um, in the original recipe it says to cut it into like four serving size pieces. So mine was like more, not that like this. It wasn't cut this thin, it wasn't cut into nice little serving size pieces. So you do what you gotta do. If yours is big, thick, and all together, cut it into pieces. If it's already cut up, lay it out Just there. Just plop it in there like that, kind of evenly down in the mm -hmm. bottom. And then uh, we want to salt and pepper that. And then after we've salted and peppered that, we're going to use a packet of like your onion, onion, soup. onion soup or onion dip. You know the stuff to make the dip with? That, the dry stuff, the powder stuff. And then you also have a can of stewed tomatoes. I think those are Italian stewed. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do is I've got my one good hand and I'm going to sprinkle the salt over the top. I'm still down and out from falling off the ladder. Don't do that, by the way. I've learned that I cannot fly, but I can land like a pro. <laughs> I and fly. I tell you what, there's a small divot in the backyard right now where my butt was. All right, so we got our salt and our pepper on there, and now Lou is going to put on and evenly sprinkle over the top of that meat that soup packet. Da, da, da. And hey, then you can she's... actually help on I this can. one. Look I'm, at you I'm going to do it with my good hand. My good hand. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm going to take my maters right over the top of that again, evenly. Try not to splash it all over Lou. Hmm. That's what the apron's that's for. What the, that's right. That's why I don't have to clean that up later. I'll do it just uh. like that. Now you put a lid on it. And according to the boss, you want to... Wait, did you just call me the boss? Isn't this my Did recipe? you make this recipe? I did. According to this you boss... You heard it here, folks. You want to cook it on low for six to eight hours, or you also can cook it on high for three to four and come back and eat yourself some Swiss steak. And we're but gonna... with beef, my preference is always low and slow. Low. Like, oh, oh, beef always gets so tender. Like, you can dry out chicken. You can dry out... Um, pork in the crock pot if you're not careful. Beef, low and slow, is just awesome. Mm -hmm. So, anyway, that's my personal preference. We're going to come back in four to six hours and show you what this Swiss steak looks like as well as tastes like. Mm -hmm. In three, two, one. And it has been six to eight hours, or for y'all, a snap of a finger. And mm -hmm. our Swiss steak is done. Let's take a look and see how we did. Da -da -da. It smells amazing. Look how those mm -hmm. stewed tomatoes are cooked down even more. Mm -hmm. That looks so Easy there, I'll offer up a plate. And okay. then, oh, oh, well. That, that's good. It's so tender that even the top one mm -hmm. fell apart. Oh, that's enough for us to yeah. So, let's take a look at this. You got your maters have all cooked into that onion soup over the top of that beef. Let's see if I can use my other hand, my bad hand. Dude, and look at that. Careful. Oh my goodness, look at that fall apart. I told you, I tried to take it out and it wouldn't all come. Let's yeah. grab a thing of that. Let's give it a try. Would I steer you wrong? Was that a beef joke? Would you steer me wrong? Sure. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Mm. You're welcome. Oh, my gosh. So, the beef tastes good. Mm -hmm. The onion mix, you know, you, when, when you put the, the tomatoes on top, all the juices from the tomatoes soak into the onion mix, which in turn makes it go down into the meat. So you get that really good oniony flavor, but those stewed tomatoes on top add that acid. And 
Oh, there's some spices that were in those two tomatoes, those Italian tomatoes that worked well, it just gives really you a good well. Flavor. I, I can taste the salt and pepper. I wouldn't even salt and pepper that any more than what we mm -hmm. did. I'm, mm. um, that is crazy good, y'all. And for anybody who isn't a fan of tomatoes, I am personally, don't tell my kids, but I don't eat tomatoes, but I eat this. It's good. It's That's good. fantastic. Mm. I would eat that over spaghetti noodles. That would be Because it kind of tastes like spaghetti sauce. Yeah, only true. A lot more it's dense. more of a marinara sauce. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that is good. Mm-hmm. Y'all. Y'all, that one's a that one's a one and a half thumbs up just because I can't raise it up too high. But that is super good. Y'all gotta make that. I mm -hmm. like that. You're I like this. I like you. Me too. I, I like you. I like I love you. She my sister in law and I love her. And we love that y'all have come and joined us for another episode of Cooking Chris's Dishes. If you like what you saw, give us a thumbs up down below. And if you have or not become, half a thumbs up if well, you half a thumbs up if you we'll broke it. That. That's good for me. Mm -hmm. Also, if you've not become a member of the Croc Posse, down below is a little button that says subscribe. Click it, and you're already a welcome member of the Croc Posse. Click the little bell that we call the... Dingling. Right next to it if you want to know as soon you, as we wait, put wait. up a new video. Do you make me say that because you think I'm a dingling? I you're, figured it out, folks. You ever been caught in the middle of something? Uh-huh. Hey, we love y'all, and we hope that you'll do three things. One, that's laugh often. Eat good food. And speak life. Bye. Bye. So we'll come back in about, well, four to six hours. We're going to come back in about six to eight hours <laughs> and show you what the Swiss take look. Swiss take. Swiss take. We're recording. We're recording. Hey, you guys. Love, love, John. Ruth. Ruth. Baby. Ruth. Ha. If you want to see the latest, click on the left right here. If you feel like subscribing, click on the right, my dear. And if you think we're funny, enough to send us money, click the Patreon.